epiglottitis is the topic. And epiglottitis is essentially inflammation of, of the epiglottis. Now, what's the epiglottis? Epiglottis is a flap that's attached to the entrance of the larynx. And the function or role of the epiglottis is that when a person swallows, it's preventing food from going down the wrong tube. So it prevents food from going down into the trachea. And what it does is essentially helps direct the food into the esophagus. So it's a very important structure and sometimes it can be the victim of a bacterial infection. Now what's interesting about epiglottitis is that most children nowadays are vaccinated and because they're vaccinated the main causative organism doesn't affect them anymore. So epiglottitis in this day and age especially in the developed countries where children are vaccinated, is a disease that can affect or a condition that can affect adults and unvaccinated kids. Now, which uh, organism? Well, there's a long list, to be honest, of organisms that are responsible for causing, but the most uh, common one is Haemophilus influenza. So in an unvaccinated kid or in an adult this would be a, a very uh, strong possibility of causing epiglottitis. What happens then is this inflammation basically leads to the airway obstruction. So the inflammation leads to mechanical obstruction of the airway. And that um, is really what causes the symptomatology. So, what are some of the symptoms? Well, very quickly, the affected uh, child or adult can develop sore throat, odynophagia, which essentially is pain during swallowing, and dysphagia, which is difficulty swallowing. And then this can progress to drooling, and strider, inspiratory strider. When the, when the patient takes a breath. And then, and often time, uh, the uh, presentation on a clinical vignette is the child is actually sitting upright and leaning forward. And this is an attempt to help this uh, uh, respiratory compromise. So how do you diagnose this? Well this is an emergent situation so instead of wasting time with x-rays you have to uh, do a direct inspection especially if the child is uh, experiencing strider and this is done with a laryngoscopy. It's done uh, very commonly in the emergency room and when you take a direct uh, look at the epiglottis, the epiglottis will be red and edematous and will clearly be larger than uh, normal and clearly show that it's inflamed. So how do you treat this? Well, emergently, you have to secure an airway because this can lead to respiratory uh, failure um, if not done quickly enough. So the uh, airway must be secured immediately. Now you do that with a nasotracheal tube. Nasotracheal intubation is uh, what's used to secure the airway. And endotracheal tube is placed uh, usually uh, as soon as possible. Now most of the time that does the trick but unfortunately if this uh, intubation is 
unsuccessful, then you have to have, uh, for hopefully, a uh, institution and a physician that is capable of doing something called a cricothyrotomy. And this is basically um, a procedure where you make an incision uh, through the cricothyroid membrane right uh, below the Adam's apple and the procedure is done to establish a patent airway so it's a very important uh, procedure that's only done if intubation has failed and then because it's a bacterial infection it needs to be treated with antibiotics in particular IV antibiotics and the antibiotic of choice is a beta-lactamase resistant antibiotic such as ceftriaxone. So first nasotracheal intubation and IV antibiotics and hopefully you won't have to do this but you may have to do a cricothyrotomy. Well let's take a look at a case uh, that commonly can appear on an exam known as the MCCQE Part 1. These are the clinical decision-making cases. They're a bit longer and they have a long list of answer choices. So let's go through this. A two-year-old girl is brought to the emergency department by her mother. The mother reports that the child went to bed with mild upper respiratory symptoms and then woke up in the middle of the night with sudden respiratory distress. On entering the exam room, you notice that the child is in respiratory distress and sitting on the examination table, drooling saliva from her mouth. Due to the urgent nature of the patient's presentation, you do a direct laryngoscopy that reveals a beefy red stiff edematous epiglottis. In an unvaccinated child, which of the following is the most likely causative organism for this condition? Well, they give you a long list and they say select only one. And as we mentioned in the video, it's Haemophilus. Next question. The appropriate management of this child may include which of the following select up to three? Well, the first thing you want to do is secure an airway, without a doubt. And securing an airway in a child, especially with Strider, um, you want to secure an airway as soon as possible immediately with the nasotracheal uh, tube, nasotracheal intubation. So that's choice G. The next thing is you want to give antibiotics and the antibiotics are beta lactamase resistant antibiotic and it's given IV and the most commonly one used one is ceftriaxone. So that would be choice D. Now they're saying select up to three, so we have to choose one more. If this is unsuccessful, if this fails, if you are unable to uh, uh, do the intubation, then you would proceed to a cricothyrotomy. And this essentially is an incision through the cricothyroid membrane to establish a patent airway. Hopefully you won't need to progress to that stage. Hopefully these two are enough, but choice M may be necessary.